Okay, if you want your bottom sheet to be above your tab bar, so for example, you can move it around any way you want, and then you see how it's not like overlaying the tab bar. If you try to make like a typical bottom sheet and then have your tab bar, you'll see that the actual bottom sheet is above the tab bar, so you can't like tap on the tab bar and like switch at all. Well, this is how you do that. Also, if I sound weird throughout this video, it's because I just got my wisdom teeth pulled out, so ignore my random lisps at times, but anyways now if you search this up on youtube you're gonna get like this guy's tutorial pretty much and these don't really work at all pretty much the main one that works actually is this one right here though the issue with this one is that pretty much if you go through this entire tutorial he gets it to work really nice but what he's doing is that he's pretty much cutting off the entire dot sheet to the point where it like starts above it correctly but let's say if you have like a settings bar right here and you click that and it like presents that modally or you have like a navigation thing that like pulls up another page then your entire view gets completely messed up because then your bottom sheet starts overlaying on top of everything which looks completely hideous and the more you scroll on this the more you're gonna see no one has made like an actual solution to this except for this guys which is good it's just not perfect so that's why we have this right here, and this works pretty much perfectly. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the description, or you can just type it in. You want to type in github.com slash this guy's name and then slash bottom sheet. Pretty much, if you try to use a normal dot sheet in this, it will not work because Apple's dot sheet will always present it above the tab bar, regardless of what you do. So your best bet is to use this. And what I've seen a lot of people do, instead of using an actual sheet, what they'll do is they'll make like an overlay instead. For example, here's a stack overflow thing I did pretty much where this is the actual overlay I made. So like this is an overlay and it's moving. Everything looks nice about it, but when you actually try to put like information inside of it, it behaves really weirdly to the point like, it's not static as you can see how it's like resizing and it's really hard to make it work as intended thus if we use this bottom sheet extension then it works really nicely like this and you can see how it's just like staying at the top and it's not like moving around in any sense all right so first thing you're gonna do go to file and then add package dependencies and from there in the search right here you're gonna paste in the github thing make sure you have the https also so for example all you have to do is just paste this in here just like that and then hit add package and then add package just like that it'll work and then boom next thing you're gonna do is import bottom sheet nice now from here let's first create our actual like tab bar itself so tab view just like that and then we'll add our first part of it so then we'll just do dot tab item item and then we'll do uh let's just do image and then we'll do system name and then we'll just have it be like a heart so that looks good and then we'll have the text also as heart nice all right and then this also has to show to something so for now we'll just have it link to our uh let's just do our zone view as like i had it before so for example zone view of course like you can like just have it in here so for example if you do like struct and then you call it like home page view and then like you can just have home page here instead but i'm linking to a separate file for the purpose of just like it looks cleaner but now as you can see we got the heart there and now let's make sure there's like an actual bar so dot toolbar background and then uh, dot visible cool and then for tab bar whoops make sure you do dot tab bar nice and there we go we have the actual tab bar itself and then we have our view which is the zone view so this file here is linking to the actual like content view itself now from here we're just gonna recopy and just paste this again uh and says zone view will do our rules view just so it doesn't get confusing and then we'll do uh, gear shape i think it's called gear shape yeah there we go nice and then we'll just call this our rules cool so now you have your different two tab bar items so if you click on it then it changes the thing works as you expect it now to actually get the bottom sheet to work and make sure it's above the tab bar we're first going to create a state var and then we'll call this bottom sheet 
position. So this is gonna be the position when it first shows up. And then we'll do absolute uh, three, two, five. Oh, and make sure you do bottom sheet position, just like that. Now, the reason why I'm using absolute, you can use many other things. For example, if you actually pull up the GitHub right here and you can read through this. For shape-wise, you can use dynamic, relative, or absolute. Probably it's best to use relative instead of absolute so you're not using pixel values. So let's just take relative here instead. And yeah, we can do relative 0.4, whatever. Same thing, pretty much. But now we're almost done. Next thing we're going to do is do the bottom sheet. And then let's do bottom sheet just like that. And then give ourselves some parentheses. And then give ourselves brackets just like that. Now in here, we're going to do bottom sheet position. So we're getting that bottom sheet position from here. And then we're going to do self dot and then dollar sign bottom sheet position. This is just syntax from the GitHub and then comma switchable positions. And then these are the different positions that you can like actually change into. So let's do, uh, let's see, we'll do dot relative again. And then let's see, we'll do 0 0.2. So that's the smallest height it can go. And then we'll get 0 0.4 for the medium height, uh, let's see, 0 0.4, cool. And then the last one we'll do like 0.95. Actually, there's a thing that you can do, so relative top. If you read through this entire documentation, it just gets like better and better, but this is just a simple way on how to do it. And then, oh, yep, make sure you add a zero or else it's not gonna work. Cool, and then if you want a title, but look at that right here, we actually have our bottom sheet working as expected. If you wanna add custom animations and speeds just like that, I think they have it in here. Uh, if you scroll somewhere, uh, let's see. Yeah, custom animation right there, you can do that and do whatever you want. There's also different things, for example, Apple scroll behavior, so unless the entire thing is expanded, then you can't use your scroll view until it's fully expanded, which could be useful based on if you're trying to make an app like that. But we're just showing the super basics right here. So for example, if you wanna have a title here, you can just do either like heading title or easier honestly is just to do title. So right here, we'll just do title and then we'll just call it zone. Whoops, make sure you put some quotation marks zone nice and then give that a second to load up and you'll see boom we got zone right here and then obviously you can change all the colors and everything to whatever you want but now let's also make it so if we click on our rules view we also have a bottom sheet too so uh for simplicity's sake let's just copy this and just paste this down here we'll just call this rules just so we can see that we clicked on a different thing. Now, if you click on here, you're gonna see nice, it works as expected. The one thing to keep in mind, let's say you push this one up, you come back here, you see how it like jumped a little up? That's because it's updating this actual code right here. So for example, like when I pull this down, it just updated that. And then when I click back on here, it's gonna update that and like show it pulling down. There's definitely ways to fix that. But at the same time, if you think about what you're doing, when you click on the different tab, you're switching the entire view itself. So I haven't tried it, but I assume if you have like, for example, my map right here, I assume if you have it, so the map, when you click on the next tab bar item, it's still the same exact page. As in, I'm not saying like copy and paste zone here again, that's not gonna do it. Though, actually, we can try it. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, look at that. That's crazy, okay. I if you wanna have it so it's not doing that jumping effect, you just have to have it the same view. So right now it's only changing what's showing on the actual bottom sheet. While yes, it's showing the different zone view again. Oh, I guess it kind of is cause it's like moving based on it, but you can link it up so it only displays this and have the tab bar item only change what's showing on the bottom sheet. But that definitely requires a bit more complication. But for most people, it's gonna be much more simpler than bothering with any of that. So let's go back to having this as rules view. But now, as you can see, we've got our zone view with the bottom sheet here above the tab bar. We got our rules view too, but you can actually do some pretty interesting things. So let's actually change this one to test for now. Now let's go into our test file. 
So as you see in here, pretty much what I did, I also have a tab view here, but I added the bottom sheet thing again. So pretty much right here, it's the same bottom sheet function, pretty much. As you can see, it's linking to other pages. But now what if we link this to our content view? So let's go back in here. And now if we click on rules view, it looks completely normal. But if we pull this down, you can see we have another entire bottom sheet that we can move freely the exact same way. So pretty much we have two different bottom sheets. And if you pull this down, you can see we also have a different tab bar down there. Obviously, you can get rid of that stuff. But yeah, you can do some pretty interesting stuff. So for example, if you need two bottom sheets without overlaying on top of the tab bar, this can do some pretty interesting stuff with that. Obviously, the more you play around with the actual GitHub, the more you can read into it and things you can do. But overall, this is just the super basic method. And let's say you want it so you don't want to edit all the stuff in here. You can also link what's in here to an actual file itself. So for example, if we go here and then we do zone view just like that. This is going to look a little trippy for a second, but let's let that load. And now you can see we have our zone view inside of the bottom sheet itself, which is kind of cool. Like you can move this all around. You can like move this while also having this up on the screen at the same time. But let's say you're like, oh, okay, well, what if I want to look like super flushed out and everything? Well, you can just have this like zone here, uh, get rid of that. And now this is gonna look pretty nice here. One thing with this though, is that since this is moving here, you can't really like drag it up based on holding this. If you are linking it to a file, there's probably a way to do it. Like if you read through this GitHub, I just haven't read through it yet because I have no need to do this. But if you do have a need to do this, you can do something like that. And obviously you can like change the top color to white. So add custom background right here and then change this color to white. Cool, and then uh, let's just get rid of that. And then let's put this as zero, just so you can see. Oh wait, let's actually get, have the actual corner radius itself. And then we'll just have this on like, what, like 20 or something? Yeah, look at that. And now it's like super flushed out and everything looks good. Move this without like dragging that. Just read through this documentation, honestly. But if you want it where you can pretty much like tap anywhere on the screen to move it around, just best practice, just write all the stuff in your actual thing instead of like connecting it to another file so you can like move freely based on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, take care.